All right, guys, uh, Sam back with you here on October 31st. We're in the middle of the day, and we're rounding out here the uh, Coinbase trio we're calling it today, and it's based off of this. Uh, so we, we're looking at what to do today, and there has been sort of in the background this idea that Coinbase was going to be adding some of these uh, cryptocurrencies, and uh, we'd, we'd done Cardano recently as well as uh, ZRX or Ox. So we're just going to focus on basic attention tokens, Stellar Lumens, and Zcash today. So on the assumption that you may not have seen that earlier one, I'm repeating myself here just so you know why we're looking at the idea being that if these are added to uh, Coinbase, Zcash already has been, if they're added to Coinbase, then that's potentially some rocket fuel for these currencies. So let's go over here. Here's Stella. Uh, Stellar Lumens to Bitcoin. This is the f the eight hour on Binance. Now, just again, kind of a reminder here that this is a really good coin checkup. This is a great place. If you're not familiar and you want to do a little digging into the project, this is a great place to go. I will often come here. For, what I'm looking for is where's the volume? Right? So if I'm going to look at something, I want to see well, where where's most of the trading here. So I'm just looking at 24 hour volume. I can see most of the trading is to Bitcoin. And it's on Binance. So that's how I narrow this down. So if I come back to the chart here, it's again, it's a tricky Elliott count. There's a couple of different ways this could be counted, and that's oh, you know, some of the, the some of the challenges with with Elliott Wave is th that there is some subjectivity to it, right? There is a rule set, but they can be interpreted in different ways. So, I, I do have a count on this, and it's it's kind of a tricky one. It it is not too terribly far from what we were looking at with basic attention token, except we have a different. We have just it's just different enough we can get a better count on this. So I don't we, I don't think we have a W X Y going on. What I think we have here is coming off of this high. We we've got an A B C that completes, and then because I've got this five here, that implies that I've got I've gone into some sort of a new motive structure. I've got five here, and I, I think there's a reasonable case that all we've done is an A B C to correct that. So rather than a W X Y, see I can't have a motive wave in my X wave here. So I've got A B. So this looks like I've got one two, and potentially now I'm getting started here in one two, very similar structure actually to get started into the third, if indeed this is going to hold as the two. So as I like to do and like to remind you, you know, if you're we're evaluating a trade here, we want to see how technically this has been trading. Well, the first thing that I can't help but notice here is I, if I grab just the basic, basic stuff, guys, just swing high to swing low, and I put that on there, and I see this reaction, well, I got to go, shit, man, what? That That's not coincidental here, but I look here, and I'm like, wow, they broke the 65. So what makes you wonder? Well, so Two thoughts here. So clearly, some algorithm they stayed with it, and right? I can't I can't explain why I'll, until I start to look at well, oh may, maybe there was something here. So if I back off of this, pulling that out, knowing that there was a technical pivot here, I look at this little ABC and I think well maybe there was that. the reason we went beyond is there algo on the other side is working this this here. If I can get that right right on there. Okay, do you see that? So they come exactly to the 50 here in this on the first retracement of that and then they get second target. Uh, so that's the only explanation I can c come up with that would explain why I get a perfect algo tap down here. Interesting, right? So it's just you know, see, we're, we we never really know, or it's only when we see this we know that's algo driven. That that's but is to what they did. Did they change the price? We don't know. We're just trying to see where they are and can we identify. It. Now, what what when I if I leave that up here, does it look like we have decent range here? Look at look how this has responded. Algo target to the fifty to the thirty eight back or. To back to our baseline here, our level here, then back to the 38, back to our baseline, back to the 38. So the the range here seems to be quite responsive here. It makes me think that there's probably some wolf range here, and we're going to look at that as well. All right, just to try and take out some of the complexity here of the Elliott count for those that are um, either not interested in that or just you know, just don't, don't want to go through that the whole process of really trying to develop some expertise with that. So looking here, now... It, it kind of looks like I've got this. So since I've got this very clear motive wave, it looks like I've got that completed, and all I've done is just go A B C to correct that. All right now we'd be pushing up into a third if that's going to hold. Now the the symmetry is not ideal. Right? I understand that, guys. Right, my Elliot Pierce, I get, I got you. Right, it's not, it's not, it's not technically. It's 
So if I look here, if I swing here, yeah, we've gone through again. We're through the 65 here. We could golden zone, to, but we don't make target. So it's a little sloppy. Sure, a B wave can go up to the 786, right? That, that, it doesn't disqualify this count. And then, you know, if you've got a pivot down here, it's always a question of why. Why, why does it pivot there? There's going to be a reason eventually. It's just a matter of can I find it? Well, I did note here. So remember, as I will remind you, that we, we always have the potential here if we've got median lines on this. Let me show you this. All right, so here we do not, it's not a golden corner pocket, but we get a golden corner pocket nonetheless because we break the 65, but we get the corner pocket. So what, what, what I mean by that is when we get the pivot here, we have an 80%. Once we get the pivot, if that pivot holds, we have an 80% probability of making the median line, which is what we do right there to the tick. So we've got that realized. Now, if I take that off, it looks to me, so a failure, remember median line trading principle number four, a failure to make the median line. Well, in this case, we made the median line, but a failure to revisit the median line lower down here and stay on that trajectory implies strength. And it would suggest that the potential here is for a move equal to do it this way, equal to or greater than the move that failed. So there's the move, here's equal to or greater, so we're past that. So this would suggest that I've got potentially now just strength coming into the market. So that's one thought to consider that. I can't find a particularly good technical low here, even if I work for my two, well, it's not bad. Two to my four here, I'm at the four. Remember in a di diagonal, we want to look back to the start of the one because we have a diagonal here, four overlaps the one. Now look what I get, all right? So now if I put it here, so I'm right to the 50, oh, a little denied, right? So it doesn't, just, just too much strength here. For whatever reason, it could just be market structure. We can see here, well, let's do it this way. And where'd we go? We can see just, just, the, just, just looking along here. Right, so lots of support coming in down here. If I even pull this down to get those let those little wicks down there, so I got a nice little baseline of support, and apparently that's that's a demand zone. So we get down here, it's bought. Right, we get we get, you could you could do the same thing up here. You could say, well, you know, I've got this range up here. Looks like yes, we've gotten through it here, but tested, tested, rejected. So I've got you know my range is fairly well established. So when, as soon as we start talking range, we start. We'll come back to that and look at that with uh, a range with our ranging technique. But it looks like right now we're kind of smack dab in the middle of it. All right, so nothing definitive. Although we do have the potential for this count to be in play, which would suggest that this move here would just be this this motive wave that I get here. In fact, uh, yes, it's an impulse that I can get a one potentially a one two is in. We'd be going three four and five. That potentially just the third wave. So these just placeholders, guys. Not making a prediction about where that's going. But th this potentially now here, relative to this one, two, well, I've got a candidate here. Well, let me raise that. I've got a candidate here for, let's go, uh, we'll go sub menu. Okay, I've got a candidate here for a one wave. If this is the one, two, I've got a contender for the one wave of the third wave of the larger degree. So one, two, yes, we've gone deep on that two, but we hold the seven, eight, six. So I've got a contender, I guess all of this has to move over. I've got a good contender here for a p potential third to go in. So let me pull some of this off here and see if we can get a roadmap as to where this might be going. So if this is one, two, so let's, if that's the one wave of the, of, of the third wave here relative to this one, two. Well, I've got a one, two. Yep, we've gone deep, all right? We know a seven, doesn't disqualify. It's seven, eight, six, not uncommon for a two. It's, it's bears are pushing to break that low. It's been tested multiple times. So the assumption would be a break would they imply lower prices, but it's so far it's held. So it's tested here to the 786 and we hold. So potentially I've just got a one, two and this very well may be yet again, another one, two in the third. So we'd be doing something like like this to go into my third. Now that's way, way too large a degree. We'll go down here and we can go to, um, we'll go to light blue and see it. All right, so one, two candidate. One, two, one, two to go three, four, and five to give me the third of the third of the third. All right, you see how that all, we remember it's fractal by nature, right? That waves within waves within waves. So I can do a couple of things here. So I've got a, a very reasonable candidate here for a, for some median lines. So let me get it right on that low. Here's my, 
pivot here. So remember, we've got 80% probability of making the median line. So if, well, let me zoom in here. Well, I'm eight hour. Let's go down to a, let's go down to a three hour. All right, and tighten this up a little bit. All right, so this get that right smack dab on it. That is important that you get those on the pivots. All right, so this see is particularly as you change time zones. Uh, uh, so going from the eight hour to the three hour, you're always going to have to tighten up a little bit. So here's the one potentially now the one two. Look where we are, golden zone here. One two of of potentially what would be the third. So how does that relate? So let's pull this off since we've, we're already operating on the premise that I've got a two here and that that is in. So the potential for the corner pocket is there. Again, it's not golden, but we've got a contender for a corner pocket right here, implying 80%. If this holds, as long as that holds, 80% probability that I get the median line at some point on this trajectory. Now, if this breaks, doesn't mean we, so if you were if you were a buyer here and your stop was under this pivot, which would be the logical place to put it, if that breaks, it doesn't mean that we can't go lower. It doesn't invalidate the idea that we'll make the median line eventually until we break this low. Oh, hell, you can still draw it. But we, we, ideally, this, this would hold here, and we've just gone one, two yet again. So we're going deep. So look, we went seven, eight, six on the first one, and now we're sitting golden zone on the second one. So you really, you could make a case that if I open this up even further, you could draw another set of median lines. So from this pivot to this pivot, we have a potential golden within it. So do you see here? So we've gone deep here, but I've got a potential golden. So if I take that that off, and so maybe let's go down to the one hour. Maybe you're trading this off of the one hour. Right, and this would be what you draw. So let's get this. Right, remember, any any time you change time zones, time frames. Oh, look at that to the sixty-five to the tick. So algos defend. So I've got a. You can see it right here. So we've got a good contender here as I go down to smaller time frames. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. Let's put this in a larger degree. Let's go to. Uh, white and we'll go up a degree looks like i've got a good good contender here so i've got nice structure here i've got a clean and clean impulse impulsive structure into my one wave here and then i can work an abc into this it looks like i've got a b and this would be down here for the c so i've got a candidate here so this is very very viable as i sit here recording this 80 percent probability that we get to that median line so putting the whole thing together you've got a, we're sitting on a golden corner pocket right right now all right very low risk to buy that so so the idea being I get this here there's no reason if you buy it right now absolutely no reason to take it beyond that pivot so you can get a very low risk entry here, right? Now it doesn't, doesn't mean not, we're not guaranteed to hold the low here, but we've got a technical pivot. Let's get this right on that. So we've got we've got a potential gold, a golden corner pocket setting up. So if, 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 that's why we don't need to put the stop any farther than beyond this pivot. If this pivot holds, we have 80% probability of making the median line, right? I'm just using first algo target here so we can at least put a risk reward on it. That's nine to one. Again, so as I would like to say, why would you not take that trade, right? We got to put a nice little channel on this. It looks like get it right on there. We've already just about broken it. So a nice skinny channel coming down. So if this is going to hold, so very low risk, right? I, that's all day long. I'll take that trade. Look, I mean, if I'm stopped out, it's a scratch, right? But look at the upside. That's nine to one, and that's on the assumption that I'm only going to make the first target, right? Here's the third target. Let's get that up here. So if we go third target, now I've got 17.8 to 1. Right? So if this is going to go 1, 2, right? you see where you know where I'm getting that from. So if I if I take the length of my 1 projected from my 2, we know the 1618 is going to be right on top of the 100. That's our shorthand for it. So if we get beyond this, I'm going to get that hot. So what would be a target right here, the upper parallel? Do you see it, right? So we're using the same mar market geometry doesn't change. I'm just using this. So, but what's not uncommon is that if we're going to hit that algo target, now the, the the caveat being if if this holds, you might do something like this and then bounce and then come, you know, something along those lines. You don't know when you're going to hit it. But if we get a good if we get a good third coming off of this and we've got a good start, look at the so they're pushing it. So I promise you that's algo driven. So they go right into the golden zone. Now they're pushing off. 
All right, you can see here was the first reaction at the 50. Didn't get much traction from it back to 618 into the golden zone, stopping out anyone who was below that pivot, and now we're starting to push away. Doesn't mean that it can't break, it just means you've got a nice looking trade set up there. There's no reason not to take that trade. Just, if you're not taking that, I, I don't know, I don't know how to help you. I, like that, this, you've got perfect, perfect risk reward parameters here, very low risk. I mean, I just, I, I don't know, how, how do you not take that trade, right? Unless you, you're, you're just terribly bearish on, all of crypto and you just want to wait, well, you say, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, maybe just fine. All right, no problem. Let's, let's take the first 50 because we know that's likely to come. If we're going to get up to something like that. That's not an unreasonable roadmap. You, you want to sure, a little too close. I don't, like, I don't know. Take the first retrace. Hit, hit. If you get the retrace to the lower parallel, you're still working within the market structure. But the risk reward is so good. That you just I, again, if if you're not taking that trade, I don't know why you're watching my videos. I mean, that's just, that's I can't put a better trade in front of you. I just can't. That that's there you go. You got eighty percent right with that. That so where else are you getting eighty percent in the market? Nowhere, right? There there is no other trade that can give you those kind of odds. None, zero. If there was, I'd tell you tell you about it. But there's not, All right? So it doesn't mean this is a guaranteed winner. I'm just saying that's a trade you gotta take. Right? If you're a crypto trader, you've got to take that trade. Right? In my opinion, right? just that, my opinion. Here's your stop. You don't even need tighter than that. Five, six ticks under the 618, or pardon me, under the 65, excuse me. Under the 65. You want to give it a little more breathing room? Fine. What, what do we got there to the upper target? 19 to 1. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. Right, it's just as, as good as they get. So I, I don't. We don't need to do a whole lot more than than that, right? So there's a, just a clean. Uh, you know, yeah, these the Elliott helping. Yeah, but you don't need it. I've got a swing. I've got a retracement. I've got an internal retracement. If you knew nothing more than that, so take the Elliott out. Swing retrace. Where are we? Golden zone. Got a nice corner pocket. I've got my median lines. That's all you need. So I don't. I don't even think we need to go into too much of the the Gan stuff here because that's just so good as it is, just by itself. We don't need to go through how to approach that as, uh, with the Gan stuff. It just take the trade, All right? But have a stop on it. Okay. Let's let's be clear about that. Let's be clear about where this trade is invalidated. Right? Just under the sixty-five. No reason to take it beyond that. So if you're in that, be let's let's be clear about getting a stop on it and exactly where you're going to put that. All right, guys, I got one more to do today. I'll be back to you in a little bit.